it's Sunday. I'm gonna wake up here a little bit. I'm gonna make some protein oatmeal, which is a really easy recipe. Show you how it's done in a sec. And then make some coffee and head out the door to get a nice, badass pump. <laughs> Good reminder. Sometimes they start losing tape a little bit, but look in the mirror and it says Yaps Fub. Or oh I'll say about. Ooh, that was a good workout. It's always fun doing buys and tries together. Get that nice arm pump. I just got out of the shower, freshen up a little bit, and I'm packing up because I'm flying up. Oregon. It's the morning. I joined some coffee. As you can tell, it's a little bit cooler here than it is in LA. It's kind of bundled up a bit, still getting used to it, still acclimating myself to this cooler weather here north of the wall. And uh, yeah, just kind of waking up a little bit. I'm gonna do my cardio, kind of get set myself in a routine. That's the most important thing about travel or being in a new spot is really trying to get yourself in a routine right away. Just hit under 600 calories. A little over 30 minutes. Woo, burned some good calories. Felt good. I think I'm gonna skip the workout today. You know, it's funny if you guys ever experienced traveling anywhere, sleeping in a new bed. You know, my neck, I swear, it's stiff as hell. Must be the pillows, the bed, or something. Catch my breath a little bit. Now I'm here on the floor, and what you can't see is a tennis ball that's placed directly on my trap. Kind of the mid trap, close to the spine area, close to the neck. Really just kind of holding a position that feels the tightest. It feels like a knot. It's right here. So the good thing about myofascial release is that it can relieve a lot of tightness. The fascia being the skin that surrounds the fibers of the muscle can tighten up, either a knot in the fibers or the tightness of the fascia can really restrict blood flow. Now the good thing and the benefit about a tennis ball is that as you can see, the point of contact is quite a bit smaller than let's say one of those big foam rollers that you can see or PVC pipes that a lot of people use. Now that's kind of almost a general area which feels really good too and can help a lot, but a tennis ball can really pinpoint a certain place that you're tightest on. And if you really want uh, kind of a point of contact even smaller get a golf ball and a, a trick a friend taught me is that put it in the freezer So it's ice cold and then you're not only rolling it out You're also getting that nice cooling effect too, which is pretty awesome got our cardio down got a little light breakfast Got a shower in felt nice now time for the real day to begin and that is shipping out all the orders so you're gonna get an inside look at the buff dudes shipping station. This is where we ship everything out of. And I uh, just wanted to kind of give you a quick look around to show you how it's handled here at the uh, Buff Dudes headquarters, shipping headquarters. And uh, it's time to start. Our mom, Diane, usually handles all the orders. Uh, she ships everything from here, their home, uh, my dad, mom's home. And uh, they're down in Southern California right now for the birth of Hudson and Aga's baby boy, Tommy. He's due any day now, and I am taking over all the orders. And we had just, or have just released the cutting book on Black Friday. A uh, big sale went on, so all the orders are piled up. I'm really gonna try to push through all this. I am also here to watch this little guy. He's my dad's dog. He's an old dog, he's like 14 years old. His name's Samson. And he's very particular about his schedule, so. Duke, my dad, needed someone that kind of could be here for his needs. Make sure he's he's fed, he's walked, he's babied, you know, and he gets his pillows just right. So I got I got that handled, I think. You've just met Mr. Meows a lot. This is what just happens on a farm. Just animals flock to you and then you end up taking care of them. So you can hear in the back, he's not too happy. Mr. Meows a lot. 
I am on my way to the airport to pick my parents up. I can't believe it's already been over a week. They just got back. Buff baby Tommy was born. Happy, healthy, ready to take on the world and get as buff as possible. He's got the genetics for it, that's for sure. So, quick about a 45 minute drive to the airport and uh, time to say hello to the buff grandparents. Just got buff mom and dad are here. Well, buff. Grandma. grandma and grandpa. There we go. Yeah. So. Wow, life has changed. Made it back. Yep. Safe and sound. A new start. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, new. The buffness continues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. exactly. Just got back to California. Going over all the footage that was accumulated over the couple weeks that I was up in Oregon. And now I'm just kind of putting it all together. And you know, I just gotta say thank you so much for everyone that ordered the cutting program. It's really awesome, your support. And I'm really looking forward to starting on the program myself, Hudson is as well. And we're gonna to begin to do this kind of like weekly vlog type uh, videos to kind of show our journey along the program so you guys can follow along. It's gonna be a lot of nutritional stuff, food, also workouts, and just kind of daily stuff, kind of just to show what it really takes and you know, some of the struggles along the way. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this this quick kind of I guess two-week vlog and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time stay buff <laughs>